Welcome everyone to video 11 and in this video we're going to show you um, us painting and putting the new floor in for this uh, master bedroom. So what we're going to do first is prime. You always got to make sure that you prime your walls and your ceilings before you put on your color and that's just to make sure that your color is nice and smooth. So my husband here is actually mixing the paint that we bought. It was already mixed at Home Depot however it's been sitting for a couple of days so we just want to make sure that it's um, still mixed because you don't want to actually like start painting with an unmixed paint because then you'll have spots and discoloration so it's good to just give it a quick mix before you start and here he um, actually attached uh, the mixer to his drill So we're like really excited to even get to this point. Uh, this room took a longer than expected. So this was actually a really um, good day for us to actually start painting and seeing what the room could look like. And then this is just me panning around in the room just to show you guys how the room looks after sanding and smoothing out everything and everything looks really good and even the closet looks really good I think the closet took the most time and this is actually what we are using uh, we went with the matte finish I thought the matte finish actually looked better than the glossy. I'm not a fan of the, the glossy paint, so we decided to go with the matte look. So here we are. We're starting to paint the ceiling. I think the hardest part of painting was the ceiling, and that's just because your arms are tired. So it took a little bit of work to do the ceiling, but the walls were were relatively uh, easy to do. So what we um, wanted to do was put one coat of the primer on the walls and in this on the ceiling, and then our plan is to make the walls gray like a light gray and then keep the ceiling white and then you'll actually be able to see that in a couple of frames but yeah this is the primer on the room and you can see it's already looking bright and looking good All right, so here is us taping the ceiling. So like I said, we're leaving the ceiling white and then the walls and the closet is going to be gray, like a light gray. So you definitely want to tape before you paint uh, the transition color um, because you don't want any mess ups to happen up in the ceiling. So it's always good to make sure you tape and tape it straight. All right, so the plan was a light gray and you can see when it's wet, it looks gray. However, when it actually dried, it came out very light where it was actually hard to see between what was gray and what was white. So you could see here 
this is the result of us painting the walls so it does look white but you could see down there at the bottom the difference between the white and the gray so it's a very very light gray and the color was called illusion which makes sense because actually depending on where the light hits the room sometimes it'll look white and sometimes it'll look gray so i guess that's why it was called illusion so after we painted and it dried and it actually didn't take very long to dry so which was very good because we only did one coat of the primer and then one coat well actually we did two coats of the gray and then on the ceiling we did uh, two coats of the primer so I'm kind of sweeping around just making sure that there aren't any nails or dust or anything on the ground that's going to mess up the floors. So this blue sheet here is called underlay. And this is what you want to put down before you put your new floors down. So we put, we decided to do um, a dark brown laminate floor for our bedroom. And it actually looks really good. So with the underlay, you want to make sure that it's nice and tight. You don't want any bumps. You want to make sure it's smooth. So this is us uh, stapling the underlay to the floor. And here is the beginning of my husband putting the boards together. So when you're putting the boards together, you don't want them like side by side. You want to make sure that you're putting it. So you want to make sure that the boards are staggered and not lined up side by side. Um, because when you're doing the staggered look and you could see here, you want your lines to look more natural when you want your floorboards to actually look um, like they're real wood. So you could see here how the lines aren't side by side. So it actually makes the floor look a lot better. It looks more natural. So the first few were a little um, tedious and that's because you just want to make sure that your staggered lines are right before you move on to your next row so once we got like the third row down it went pretty easy so this is what it looks like and it looks really good. And then you also want to make sure that you put something heavy down on the boards so that it doesn't move. You want to give a, maybe an inch away from the wall um, because what happens is uh, your floorboards do expand. So you want to give a little room for that expansion uh, once you get all the boards in. So now you could see him here. He's actually working on the fourth row. And then as you, and here you go, he's um, actually putting something down, something heavy down to make sure it doesn't slide. Thanks for joining us. And in the next video, you'll actually see our finished product.